Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online and we actually do have a pretty good week on our hands I must say. Before we get into anything that's going on this week we have to talk about the vehicle that is sitting right here behind me. This is one of the vehicles that are available this week discounted and it is of course the Declassy weaponized Tampa. Perhaps the most armed vehicle in the entire game. This thing is crazy good. Now a lot of these upgrades are unlocked through by research I will just tell you guys but it has front mounted missiles it also has a top mounted rear mortar that you guys can see on the back there and that will shoot mortars backwards and then of course it also has the dual minigun now this is also an upgrade that you unlock through bunker research uh, but this thing shreds guys it is a crazy good vehicle definitely something to look into if you never had it before it's also all-wheel drive as an upgrade over the regular to classy Tampa so that's something to keep in mind as well overall such a good vehicle definitely probably the best thing that you can get this week in Grand Theft Auto Online on discount other than the business discount um, this thing is definitely something you guys should be picking up but anyways we're going to talk about how to make some money this week in online and there are many many good ways actually it's pretty cool so let's get into it starting off we have some new transform races in Grand Theft Auto Online called Unknown Unknowns these are double money and double RP for the remainder of this week now we also do have bonuses on contact missions and specifically on Gerald contact missions. These are going to be giving out four times RP and double money. So four times RP, you're going to be able to level up a lot with these missions. So if you are a lower level in GTA and you're looking to level up, these are definitely going to be something that you should be checking out for sure. They're definitely very good. Now we also have triple money and triple RP as well as triple progress on bunker research missions for the remainder of this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is pretty sweet. So if you want to get some bunker research done, like I said, you're going to be able to unlock some pretty cool stuff, maybe for the weaponized Tampa, like I was talking about, uh, you're going to get triple research progress, which is kind of insane, as well as triple money and RP on those missions as well. So they're going to be a little bit more worth it to do this week as well. So definitely check into that if you're interested and of course for those of you who own bunkers this week we have double money on bunker sale missions as well as ammunition delivery missions which is pretty sweet so ammunition delivery missions are going to be paying a hundred thousand instead of fifty thousand and for one resupply in the bunker you're going to get four hundred and twenty thousand instead of two hundred and ten thousand so it's going to be sweet a lot of money to be made with the bunker this week for sure a lot of research progress that you're going to be able to get done in a very short amount of time. So definitely make sure you are taking advantage of these bonuses on money this week in online for sure. But now, of course, we have to talk about the discounts that are available this week. And starting off on the foreclosures website, you probably could guess this, but bunkers are discounted this week. 30% off plus all upgrades and renovations. So that's pretty sweet. If you don't have a bunker or if you want to move your bunker location, this week is going to be a good one to do it in. Now, if you're wanting a recommendation for which bunker you should buy, 100% you should buy the farmhouse bunker. It is the best bunker in the game. It's the most centrally located. Now the Chumosh bunker might fool you. It is a little bit lower on the map, but this mountain right here that you see is absolutely massive and all your sail missions are going to end right around here generally like over here most of them. Some will be like right here. There's I think a single sail mission that ends right there. But they're either going to be right here or down here on these mountains too, or maybe even by the airport. So the farmhouse bunker, you basically have a straight shot. Get on the road that passes by Martin Madras's ranch and just go straight down. And you can cross over to here if you need, or you can go straight down to the airport from there. It is just simply the best bunker for about 90% of sail missions. However, if you are strapped for cash, you don't have enough money, you want to take advantage of the bunker discount the chumash bunker is a great second option it is i'd say 20 percent worse than the farmhouse bunker it's just not quite as good uh, but it is still a viable option so if you guys want a bunker and you don't have one and you're broke the chumash bunker might be good for you however i would highly recommend saving up the extra money and getting the farmhouse bunker because it just simply is the better bunker over here on Legendary Motorsport, we have the Fister Comma S2 discounted by 30% this week as well. And scrolling a little bit further down, we also have the Grotti Cheetah Classic discounted by 30% off as well this week. So some pretty cool discounts on both of those items. Over on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we have the Bravado Greenwood discounted this week, and it is going to be 30% off as well. 
The Bravado Greenwood is an Imani Tech capable vehicle. It is a four seater. Um, overall, for the price that you're paying, it's not a bad vehicle at all to pick up. If you're looking for a budget Imani Tech vehicle, the Greenwood is definitely a great option. It's pretty fast in a straight line. You can upgrade it with the armor plating. You can also put the oil slick proximity mine dropper on it, and it's going to be pretty awesome for you. No doubt about it. So definitely pick up a Greenwood if you're interested, if you need an Imani Tech vehicle for cheap. And over on Warstock, we have some more discounts. Like I said, the weaponized Tampa is discounted this week, and it is 40 percent off which is a pretty good discount we also have the anti-aircraft trailer also 40 percent off this week ballistic equipment has a huge discount of 50 percent off which is crazy so if you've never had ballistic equipment it's kind of good uh, you call it in you go and get it and then you put it on and you're in like a juggernaut suit from call of duty or just like a bomb defusal suit, if that makes sense. And you get a minigun, I'm pretty sure as well. So it's definitely something to look into for sure. The anti-aircraft trailer can be towed behind vehicles like the Night Shark, as well as I believe the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Basically, if it has a trailer hitch, it can pretty much tow it. Uh, that's not going to be true for all vehicles, just so you're aware. But the anti-aircraft trailer can put out a ton of damage. Um, generally a pretty interesting little vehicle. Now we do have some more discounts this week, but we're gonna talk about them when we actually see the vehicles that are discounted, cause some of them are in the dealerships. But for right now, we're gonna head over to the casino, talk about the podium vehicle, then to the LS car meet and talk about the prize ride. Within the casino, the podium vehicle is the Enos Windsor Drop, a very luxurious four-seater convertible Rolls Royce definitely a very awesome car definitely something you should look into picking up this week if you can of course doesn't have much in the way of customization in fact it literally doesn't have anything at all but it is still a really cool car definitely very luxurious something to look into for sure. Next up within the LS car meet, we have the BF Club available to be won this week. Now, this is actually one of the fastest compact class vehicles for racing in GTA Online, so do keep that in mind. And the challenge to win it is relatively easy. It's top four for three days in a row in LS car meet series races. Not a hard challenge at all. This thing actually shreds. It's a very, very fast vehicle. Definitely look into this thing, guys. It's, it's actually no slouch. It might not look like much, but it really is actually something crazy performance wise so keep that in mind a lot of customization as well overall very good car now to talk about the three vehicles that are available within the ls car meet for purchase this week they're all discounted again we have the grotty cheetah classic this is one of the fastest sports classic cars in gta online in the sports classic category so if you want to race this is definitely something that you should maybe try to pick up this week while it's discounted it's also got a decent amount of customization generally a very good looking car of course we have the bravado greenwood in the middle here again imani tech capable four seater very cool vehicle and of course the fister comet s2 also discounted but nothing too special to say about it it doesn't handle very well but it is stanceable so it is quite fast in a straight line and it's a tuner's DLC vehicle, so it has a ton of customization. Within Simeon's dealership this week, guys, we have a bunch of removed vehicles. Starting off in the back corner, we have the Ocelot XA21, a fan favorite. It's all-wheel drive. It's got one of the best sounding engines in the entire game. Tons of customization. Overall, very, very good vehicle. Definitely something to pick up. We also have the Pegasi Torero available this week again uh, we had this not that long ago i feel like and uh, in order to purchase this it's actually 40 percent off this week so it's going for five hundred and ninety-eight thousand eight hundred dollars not a bad price um it definitely isn't the greatest car ever if you want to know more about it i do have a customization and review out on my channel we also have the dinka thrust which i believe is a removed motorcycle it might not be though so don't feel the pressure definitely check it out on southern and legendary motorsports under the motorcycles category and make sure that it is actually removed. We also have the Declassy Tulip, which is removed. It's a four seater muscle car, definitely a pretty interesting one. A lot of customization, handles absolutely terribly. It's got a lot of advanced handling flags, meaning that this thing is kind of a handful to deal with, but it is still a very cool car nonetheless. And of course we have the Rune Chabarak, last but not least. This thing is pretty awesome. It's got a lot of upgrades. It's based off of a Lada, and you can actually put a lot of cardboard options on this thing, like a cardboard front splitter as well as a cardboard wing. It's quite funny, definitely a cool vehicle to pick up, and it is removed. Luxury Autos is boring as ever. We have the Vapid Dominator GT and the Karen Fifth Knight from the most recent Grand Theft Auto Online DLC. I don't really know why Rockstar keeps putting boring ass vehicles in Luxury Autos, but they seem to, so that's that's what it is. 
it is. The vehicles available to be stolen through the chop shop this week include the Albany Brigham, the Karen Hot Ring Everon, and of course the Lamp Daddy Tagon or Tigon. It's a very cool car, um, but unfortunately I do not believe we can keep any of these this week, which does kind of suck. So yeah, that blows. All right, guys, and last but not least, we of course have to talk about the time trials. Your RC Bandito time trial for today is Cypress Flats. Your Junk Energy time trial is Mirror Park. Your regular time trial is Tongva Valley. And your HSW time trial is from Terminal to Mount Chiliad. So there you have it guys, that's been it for the update week in Grand Theft Auto Online. That's been it for what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you enjoyed the video, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, comment a seven if you made it to the end of the video. I'm trying to see something. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.